and welcome to Snob TV. I'm Tina Craig and today I'm at Neiman Marcus where I'll be having lunch with famed American designer Michael Kors. But first, before lunch, he's going to give us a sneak peek at his Spring 09 collection. So come on, let's go talk to him. Hi Michael. How are you? Good, good to see good you. Good to see you. I kept thinking a little bit about Malibu. There's a little bit of a little bit of a surf influence going on there, a little Gidget, a little Americana. The Italian Riviera in the 50s and the early 60s, Ooh. so Portofino, and just that whole idea of very sporty glamour. A lot of my readers who are a lot younger, they don't realize that you've had your line since 1981. I mean, you're so young, literally. <laughs> 27 years this yeah, year? Yeah, it's a long time. I went to FIT, and you know, it was kind of the late 70s, and uh, definitely a fun time in New York. I left school, and I ended up designing um, for a store in New York on 57th Street called Lothar's. I was impatient and young, and in 1981, I said, you know what, I want to do my own thing. When I first started, an American designer really was only about America. Right. You know, and you weren't, you weren't thinking about the world and global and... Since then, you know, I designed Celine for seven and a half years. That's right. Whoever thought Americans would be designing clothes in Paris. Do you think fashion's more accessible now than it was back oh, in I 1981? Think I think that fashion in 1981 was this rarefied thing. Right. You know, it's because of people like you <laughs> that, you know, there's great information out there that, you know, and today, you know, you can run out and you can find something that has great style and a great look and maybe it doesn't cost a million bucks or maybe it does, but just the idea that I think there's more information about fashion, things like Project Runway. Exactly. You know, teach people about fashion. And what about a woman like me back in 1981, a woman in her 30s? How has she changed, your client? Well, I think the one thing that's happened, you know, uh, age has also so changed. You know, it used to be in 1981, you kind of dressed according to your age. Well, today, you know, you could be 19 and be super sophisticated. Everybody's 30? Everyone's 30. I say <laughs> everyone's 30. Everyone's 30 something. <laughs> We have customers who are in their 50s and 60s even who take care of themselves and they're plugged in and they right. look cool. And then I've got teenage girls who are like super sophisticated. So you're like, wait a second, you know, Nicole Richie, Jessica Simpson, Deborah Messing, keep going, Renee Russo, they're all in the same clothes. Right. Now, given the current economic conditions, have you done anything different, whether it's in production design or scaled back at all to reflect that? You know, the one thing that's interesting, I think, um, it's funny, when we shop, I love vintage clothes and vintage accessories. When we look for them, and we're looking for Michael Kors things sometimes, you know, I'm like, is there any Michael Kors here from the 80s? And they'll be like, no because people actually really wear your stuff. Right. I'm just kind of doing what I always do, you know, and I think that when times are tough, really super crazy trendy things, maybe those disappear a little bit. Which is good for you because you're known for tweaking on the classics. Exactly. Your shows are always one of my favorites. The energy is incredible and you always come out looking great. Even backstage, you seem so calm. But I never get nervous right before the show because quite honestly, we're done. Right. You know what? I mean, it's in the hands of the gods. Yes. Really, I've been working on this for eight months. You've spent so much thought and time and energy, and now you just want to kind of give birth, you know? <laughs> I love it's it. like, oh my God, I've been I've had this my for baby. nine months. Let's get this thing out of me, you right. know? Where do you go to relax, the very oh, first thing? Well, I have to say, as soon as the show is finished, we get into the analytical mode. Reading and, reviews? Well, first I watch the show a hundred times. You know, you're like, oh, she could have... Walked better. She could have walked better. Well, she, she used her pocket. Your real nagging mother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, God, you know, that's too tight on her or whatever. We read all the reviews, I won't lie. I think it's important. I think the criticism, um, you know, if you learn how to take it, you can learn something from it. Oh, I love that. And what about when you relax on vacation? I'm a beach bum. Are you? I What's your favorite say? beach? Kind of the Maldives. Ooh, I love the Maldives. I could definitely do the Maldives. I'll do Capri in the summer. Um, I don't have a problem going to St. Bart's any time of year. Yeah, give me a, a trashy book and a beach, I'm happy. And how do you travel? What are the essentials for you? Aviator sunglasses, you know what? You know. You told me this last time. It That's was? how you stay youthful. You get off a plane, you've got the aviators on. Keep your on. aviators on, and you're like, okay, I'm Steve McQueen forever. <laughs> you know, you have a fabulous black tailored jacket, can take you anywhere, white jeans, anywhere you go. And I have to like say- Like I said, you look the same. 10 years ago, I could, you know, I Google photos of you. I'm like, was that yesterday? Was that today? I think so much and spend so much time thinking about what other people are going to wear. Right. I don't want to have to think about what I'm going to wear. So you got your Levi's and your nice I'm ready to roll. You know what? I always run out and get, you know, a new pair of Todd's. You know, these are in Pony or whatever. But you love to shop, though. 
I love to shop. That's what I know. Okay, I so we're going shopping shop. right now. Yep. What city do you want to be in and what shops do you want to go to? In Milan, there's an amazing store called G. Lorenzi that is full of like stuff that no one needs. Beautiful like horn handled razors and the most gorgeous like sewing kits. I, who's, who needs a sewing I kit know. that gorgeous? You get recognized when you're shopping. What's the, I do, I do. Do I they get, think you're, oh, the Project Runway designer, like the everyday Well, yeah, and I think, no, I, sometimes I think people are following me to see what I'm going to buy. <laughs> like that they, like that they want the tip. Yes, you know, yes, what's yes. he going to get? What's Free he going to get, right? So what's the biggest challenge of being a Project Runway judge that you've encountered in the last few years? Fashion, whether you're a designer um, and you're approaching this from that perspective or me as a judge, Fashion's about kind of balancing art and commerce. Do people come up to you and ask you why you were mean or? People definitely have an opinion. All of us who are judges on the show, we are strictly working based on that runway show. Sure. I have no idea what happened. Were they fighting? Who hates who? Right, right, right. You know, we right. don't know about any of that. Um, so, you know, you might see it differently as a viewer. You're like, oh my God, she's a bitch. <laughs> like, how could they have kept her in? She's horrible. That's exactly what I'm thinking. You know, exactly. people are like, she's mean. I'm like, we didn't know she was mean. You liked her dress. I just thought the dress was pretty. Okay, well now I want to go shopping. You need Can to you shop. indulge my fantasy Absolutely. of you being my best friend All and choosing right. my clothes for Absolutely. me? Absolutely. Well, but first, bag first, snob. Well, hey, bag snob you know needs a bag. I love it. This bag. And this bag also. It's got all the colors that Malibu Barbie needs. It's and you know what the other thing is? It's side zips. Side zips. I mean we Functional. we think about every little detail. I mean this is kind of the Rolls Royce of furs. Do we need right. to call my husband right now? This is it. I definitely <gasps> think. Size zero, please. Hello. Love it. That's what do you think, is Judge? So good. Love it. You know, maybe just shorten it a touch, but it's a perfect dress. Love you did a lot of blues, red, and white. Of, yeah, and everyone's like, oh, you're very patriotic. You're very patriotic. I'm like, hello, it's an election year. I know. You know? Exactly. Yes. Oh. oh, my God. This one's so good. This is a dress that could get you married. Yeah. You could get proposed to. Deal. Red. Red and then Just the, the right zipper. reaching. It's hot. This is a really sexy dress. That's hot. This is a good one. Love it. Okay, well, thank you, Michael. Well, my pleasure. I'm going to go try on everything, yeah, and then we're going to have the, lunch later. At the fitting room, so we'll see you at lunch. Thank you. See you later. Thank you for tuning in to Snob TV. I hope you had a good time. Don't forget to log on to CoutureSnob.com for more fabulous fashion tips. We'll see you online.